morning, Frank. Morning, Mark. Early start? Yeah, there's so much to do, mate, you know. Yeah, this business with Ricky and Bianca's getting a bit out of hand, isn't it? I'm sure they patch things up, Mills. David? I still can't believe it. All Ricky's stuff, just... Jake is all right. Look, he had it coming to him. David, nobody deserves to be treated like that. You're not encouraging her, are you? He cheated on her. Again! Mind you, that shouldn't surprise anybody. He's his father's son, after all. Yes. Well, there are two sides to everything, isn't there? Uh, what's Frank doing going into work so early? Not that busy, are you? I don't think you'll miss much by having breakfast first. I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Let him run things. Let him make all the decisions. Yeah, well, it don't come naturally. Yeah, well, just sit tight, will you? What? There's no... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be over at Manorwood all morning, but I should be back in time for lunch. Well, yeah, what's that this time of the morning? It's, um, it's probably Barry. I'll take it outside, shall I know? Oh, hello, Ken. Yeah, thanks for phoning back. Uh, yes, it's about that matter we discussed last week. Never off that thing mm. these days. Yeah. Yeah, why well, I'm happy with that if you are. Oh. You're up early. Oh, I couldn't sleep. Oh. What time is it? Oh dear. Who's going to clear up all that then? Oh, ain't that a problem, is it? I still can't believe you've done it, Bea. I mean, it's one thing thinking about it, but to actually go and do it. Well, there's only these things around me anymore. Like, I never want to see him again. Oh, well, I should think he's got the message now. Yeah, well, he's only got himself to blame. You should have realised I meant it when I said it. Oh, you're better off without him, Bea. You've done nothing to cause your problems. Where's the cornflakes? I were as well. Well, we can buy our own cornflakes, but it's the rent that's going to be the real problem. Yeah, what are we going to do about that? Do you reckon we can keep this place on between the two of us? Well, I know I can afford a bit more, but what about you? Well, David's helped me out this week, and well, I suppose I just have to get a job. I haven't got nowhere else to go. I ain't going back to my mum's teeth. Huh? We just have to manage them, won't we? Yeah. We show Ricky Butcher that we don't need him. Uh, just tell him Frank Butcher called again, and I'd be very grateful if he could bring me back as soon as he got a moment. Thank you very much. Bye. Mm -hmm. uh, David, you're going to have to cover the lot for me today, old son. I've got things to do. Oh? Well, it may not have escaped even your notice. We've got half empty lot out here. Yeah, we are a bit low on stock, Frank, thanks to my efforts. So I'll uh, give Barry a call, shall I? Why would you want to go and do a thing like that? Will we get most of our supplies from uh, Manor Wood? Not anymore, we don't. Look, Frank, you might have shifted a couple of motors, but we ain't exactly cash rich at the moment. We can't just go to the auctions. We need a supplier. Roy Evans is not the only supplier. But we've got a good deal there. I shall get on the phone to some of my old mates. I'll show you what a good deal is. Whatever you say. Leave it to me, boy. There you go. I suppose you heard what happened. Yeah, lad. All this stuff. Clothes, your pictures, my tapes, everything. You must have had it right, haven't we, you? Yeah, and she's changed the locks. Oh, she has, has she? <laughs> Just as well. I might have killed her if I got in there last night. Come off it, Reggie. Well, how would you feel? Look, you got to help me, Phil. Me? Well, why should I be the one out on the streets over this? Well, you have to sort this out between yourselves. Well, I can't. No, if, I, if I go around it, I don't know. No, I could lose control. She won't let me in anyway. Well, what would you want me to do about it? Well, get her out. Why should she have the flat? You know, she can go round her mum's. Where can I go? Look, it's not as if I'm new to the business. Frank Zaldo's, that's what he used to trade on, that. But I never had trouble getting credit then. Just hang on a minute, Wink, or I resent your implications. Hey, 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 don't bother, pal. Don't bother. I'll go elsewhere. Trouble? 
No, 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 no. Just be careful who you do business with these days, that's all. Plenty more fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. You're answering the door today, are you? Yeah, well, I didn't feel like talking last night. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, certainly looks tidier in here. You shouldn't have done it, Bianca. No, I just wanted him out of here. Yeah, well, I've had a difficult job explaining to Billy that burning other people's stuff ain't a nice thing to do. Sorry. Are you? I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't have been tempted to do what you did, but all the same. No, Mum, I just lost it. Yeah, and I thought I had a temper. So, what are you going to do now? You could always come home. This time it's going to be different. I'm not going to let him ruin everything for me again. Oh, come on, Jim, you know me. How about giving an old friend a break, eh? Yes, I know that. I... I that Jim, listen, I've been hearing this all morning. But... Yeah, all right, but I won't waste any more of your time then, will I? Thanks. For nothing. Damn! If you ask me, Ricky got exactly what he deserved, don't you think, Rob? I'm staying out of it. I think she's off her trolley. She wants locking up. Well, she told him to get out. He should listen, shouldn't he? Well, she's a maniac doing something like that. If you ask me, Ricky, a lucky escape. Well, don't complain. She's done you a favour. Now he's going to be so desperate, he's going to come and call him back to you again. That's honest what I believe. And neither do I, sir. You both don't shut up. I knock both your heads together. Well, thanks for sticking up for me. Just be glad Mum's not back here, eh? You know, I never thought in myself saying this, but I could actually feel sorry for Ricky. Caught in the middle between you two. Yes, ladies. Well, I suppose you're gonna have to go out now, are you two ever gonna learn again? You just don't get off my case. Just because Mum's away, thinks he could do what he wants. Hey, I really appreciate this. Yeah, stay in touch. Cheers. You all right? I had to get out of there, Roy. Frank's not having a very good day, and it's me staying now. Poor old Frank. Yeah, but how long is this going to go on for, eh? I mean, I can't just sit back and watch the business go on. Don't we do need to restock? Let it go on just a bit longer. Don't worry, I'll see you're right. I'm taking a lot on trust here, Roy. You can trust me. Look, at the end of the day, I will make sure that you get your own business back in good shape. Look, uh... Tell Pat I'll be in in a minute, will you? I've got a couple of calls to make. We're out here. Well, we don't want to worry her with any of this, do we? Oh, all right. Hello. Listen, I haven't got long. Uh, it's about being her earlier. Oh, yeah? Do you think she really is okay? Well, yeah, she said she was. Yeah, I know. Well, she said that yesterday, and not what she went and did. Mm, yeah. You didn't have a hand in that, did you? No, of course not. Well, I would be happy if she came home, but she seems to want to stay in the flat. Yeah, we have been talking about that. So, um, I'm relying on you, you to keep an eye on her. Well, oh, nothing like that's going to happen again, Carol. Anyway, if anyone's to blame for all this, it's her. Yeah, well, I want a word with her and all. Yes? Happy now? Got what you want? Not particularly nice. No. Oh, what do you mean he hasn't come running back to you? You've got it wrong, everybody has. I've got your number. Don't think I haven't. I mean, you go off and live abroad and pick up all these airs and graces. Then you come back here and expect all the men to come running, didn't you? You don't know anything. Yeah, never stop to think it's other people's lives you're playing with. I can't help it if Ricky's still got feelings for me. Yeah, and he deserves all he gets. But my Bianca's the one who's got out here. <laughs> I can't help that. Yeah, well, maybe it's a good thing she's had her eyes open before it's too late. But I'm warning you. You make trouble for a game that you'll have me to answer to. But why won't he speak to me? Look, son, we've already established that you can't help me. All I'm looking for is a line of credit. What do you mean, insufficient guarantees? I've been in this business for years, pal. I am not shouting at you. Well, who can blame me? Ricky. You shouldn't have done this, love. Well, if you care. Of course I do. I've been looking for you all day. Oh, what, to laugh at me like the rest of them? No, of course not. Oh, what, to tell me it serves me right? Nobody deserves this. I mean, it was a terrible thing to do. Yeah, well, tell her. Oh, and I see her. Yeah, of course you will. 
You all right, love? Oh, yeah, I'm fine, Pat. I've lost my girlfriend, my flat. I've lost everything. Ricky, is there anything I can do? Not anymore, no. Have you got somewhere to go? Somewhere to sleep? Ricky! I've already left a message. Several, in fact. Now don't bother, forget it. this. Well, things have changed since I was last in this game. Oh, dear. Yes. Unbelievable, mate. People have got no courtesy anymore. They used to return your calls. And they didn't all want cash up front, either. No. I suppose not. That's all guarantees, and you know. Not the same game I used to be in, that is for sure. No. Have you had this trouble? Not particularly. Well, you're going to have to let me in your little secret one of these days, then, aren't you? I thought it was your show now. Don't give me that. We're both in this together. One of us go under, we both go under. Is there a danger of that? There is if you let Pumas keep walking off the car lot like that. Go and do your job, David. I need to know what stock we've got coming in, Frankie. It all takes time. Well, we have got a supplier. All it would take is a phone call. Manor Wood. We had a very nice little deal with Manor Wood. Oh, did you throw in Pat as part of the deal as well, did you? Well, I'm not above using the family connection to my advantage. Not if it means a nice little contract for sailor return supply of used company cars. Sailor return? What's that? You sell them and the customer returns them, is it? Don't knock it, Frank. It's kept us afloat this past year. Just hang on a minute. Sailor return? I haven't seen this contract. Well, you didn't ask, did you? You just took over. Sounds too good to be true. Except for your little problem of dealing with Roy. Yes, my little problem with dealing with Roy. Well, I tell you what. Why don't I go and straighten it out right now? No, I think you. Uh, I think you better let me handle this. You Frank. leave this to me, boy. Dad, Ricky, I was just coming to find you in case you've been looking for me. Well, why would I be looking for you? Well, and you, what's happened? No, oh, what? Well, you ain't heard. You must be the only person in Wolford that ain't. Yeah, well, I've had a lot on my mind as I would. Hank wouldn't listen to me. She chucked all my stuff out of the flat and set fire to I it. I told you women were trouble, son. I know, Daddy. You know, it didn't work. I did what you said. You know, I tried to make her understand. Now everyone's laughing at me. And she's locked me out of the flat. I ain't even got a change of clothes. Oh, that's too bad, son. Yeah, you know, I've got nowhere to stay. Yeah, last night, I, you know, I kept in the arches. Listen, can't I stay with you, Dad? What, in the vic? Are you sure, son? There's not enough room to swing a cat round then what am I going to do? Well, I don't know. Once you got a mate that you know, can put you up or something? God, there's no one. Oh, son, I really am sorry. I wish there was something I could... You don't know what time that Roy Evans gets back, do you? I saw him going in the vic earlier. Good. Uh, Dad! In a minute, son. In a minute. He was in such a state, Roy. I'm worried about him. Nobody's looking out for him. He's got Frank now, hasn't he? You can hardly stay here. Oh, come on, Pat. He's going to be all right. You've offered to help him. That's all you can do, isn't it? Oh, no. Speak of the devil. If he's going to come over here... No, let me handle this. Well, 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 the happy couple, eh? Frank? I thought I might find you here. Leave us alone, Frank. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt your little tater to tater, but I do have some business to discuss with you, Roy. Is it about the ass? Oh, you've heard from my solicitor, have you? How could you do that, Frank? What am I going to tell Janine? Her own father's putting her out in the street. If Janine needs a home, I will provide one. Like you have for the past two years. Uh, yeah, um, this isn't going to take very long, is it, Frank? I don't understand why you're doing this, Frank. <clears throat> so, what is it? Hmm? Oh, just a small matter of stock for the car lot. How can I concern anymore? Oh, aren't you figuring in the contractual ties between our two companies? Between David? No, 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 no. I think you might be wrong now. I think you might find the contract is between your company and our company. Do you want to do business with me? A deal is a deal. I understand from David we have a nice little arrangement with Manorwood Motors, something about sailor return on company used cars. Have you looked at this contract, Frank? Oh, well, if there's any dispute, I'm sure my solicitor will advise you of your legal obligations. Well, I hope he's got it written in the small print. His speciality. Because I think you'll find there's a clause there that says that any change of ownership invalidates existing agreements. What? I'm surprised David didn't mention it to you. Well, I'll have my solicitors check it out. Don't worry about that. I'm sure he'll find it's pretty airtight. Uh, but of course, I mean, if you want to call in and discuss setting up a new arrangement... No, 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 no. That won't be necessary. What was that all about? Mm -hmm. Oh, it... Uh... It was just business, you know. Well, I should have thought you were the last person he'd want to do business with. He can't avoid it. 
Small world when you come down to it. Car training. Maybe I should talk to him again. No, Pat. It's not fair on the kids. Why should they feel that they've got to take sides just because he's angry with me? There's Ricky with nowhere to go, dossing down in the arches because he won't come back and live with us, and Janine getting ideas that she wants to move in with him. I don't think Frank is thinking about the kids at the moment, Pat. Does he really want to split this family apart? He'll never succeed. We'll see to that. Can't he see that if he wants to come back and live on the square that we've all got to find a way to get on? Is it all going to end? All right, Frank. Nothing wrong. Sammy, we're on. Where's that contract? I'll give him a small print. What's happened? I don't know what he could do with his contract. I take it you're talking about Roy. Who else would I be talking about? You set me up nicely there, pal. Would well, you never give me a chance to explain, did you? I hope you haven't done anything to upset things. I told him what he can do with his trumpy deal. Oh, well, that's just great, innit? That's gonna leave us high and dry. We don't need Roy Evans! I told you to let me handle it. Ah, ah. You didn't mention this get out clause, did you? This contract ain't worth the paper it's written on! Well, you've done it now, haven't you? I could have kept things sweet there if you hadn't gone steaming in. Tell you now, pal, we don't do any more business with that piece. Frank, Frank, we're small potatoes, mate. We can't survive alone. I we have need been in this work. business 30 years as long as Ryan. Then how comes you ain't got a set up like Give me this? time. How comes you went belly up two years ago? I need time. There's Give only me a one year. way to get a leg up on the next level. Partnership merger. You stay on your own no. and you stay small. That was your mistake. No. No. Roy Evans is the best thing that ever happened to this no. woman. You need him, Frank. No. I suggest you go back over there and sort things out with him. No. Because no one is going to give us the deal he did. No, no, no. Million years. Mm.